G'day YouTube, Ivan here from Peak Off Road in Sydney, Australia. And today we have a 76 series Land Cruiser uh, 09 version. Uh, this is really worldwide available. And uh, we're gonna give you a quick run through on what we did to uh, fit the alley cab tent and also a few accessories up the top. Um, again, a quick run through the whole lot and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Well, as you can see, we're at the front of the uh, 76 series. Um, we have to thank Tyler for lending us the car today to do this shoot. Uh, he's spent a lot of time and effort on this. And you can also catch him on his Instagram page, Trusty's Tough Tourer. Um, please go check his page out and uh, you'll enjoy that immensely. As you can see now at the front of the car, pretty standard stuff in Australia. ARB, stops the ruse, aerial lights. And if you look at the front here, uh, the tent actually fits quite well. It, it actually is the right size for this car. It pretty much comes directly parallel or a little bit off the windscreen. Um, the gap up here, as before, uh, we can get a little bit lower by using uh, the smaller narrow section load bars instead of the uh, 40 mil Rhino bars. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, it looks great. They've got the aerodynamics of a brick anyway, but now with the big V8 engine, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't hurt so much. And we'll continue on. We'll open up the awning and uh, the tent and we'll go from there. Okay, we'll just open it up. Uh, it's got a dual, dual wheel carry on this one. And uh, so there's a little bit of rigmarole to get up there. Right here, even for me. Again, two latches. Up we go with the, uh, the tent. Bring the bungee cord in. Go find your uh, spring poles. One down, one to go. Right. That's done. Uh, as you know, the bedding's always inside. Um, we'll go around now straight away and open up the awning for you. Open it up, it's pretty straightforward. We undo the uh, three Velcros. The awning should pop over, pop open, grab the front, make sure the front is out. Go straight to the back. Now, if you keep pulling and you haven't done this, you'll end up tearing the bag. So what we do is just pop the bag, grab the little arm and just bring it around. So if it does get stuck, then uh, there's no damage done. Got to go around all these wheels he's got. That's what happens when you run 35s. Once you've latched the back on, just nice and easy. And there you are, it's done. Uh, again, it suits this car really well. Um, it does have another leg here. You can drop that down, I hardly ever use it. Um, over here, we have the tie downs. The tie downs go straight down, or you can put a weight on it. At uh, the back, uh, I'll show you on some other videos. What we do is actually put a little cut in, just how we just tie that off to the back, um, somewhere on the back, whether it be the door, the, uh, the tire carrier, whatever. Um, plenty of shade, that's what it's meant for. Be careful on the beaches, thermals are pretty harsh. Um, I always tie down at least one point of the beach because one minute it's uh, beautiful and calm and next you've got 20, 30 knots coming at, at the wrong angle, no doubt. It's just the way it works when you're on the beach. All right, uh, we'll go around and have a look at the uh, other side of the tent and put the ladder up. Right, we're down here at the side now. Uh, just to explain to you, this is the ladder that comes standard with the tent and it actually fits inside the tent with your bedding. Uh, you've probably seen some of the other videos. Um, this is a great ladder. It's great on your feet. Um, fantastic. The only problem, it's long and bulky. But here with uh, Tyler's um, 76, he's uh, got a four inch suspension lift from Superior. And as you can see, the ladder is a little bit short. Uh, we can buy ladder extensions. Uh, they're an Alicab product, that's not a drama. But in this case, just for the extra room upstairs, He's opted with the, uh, 
with a Chinese ladder. These are the 2.4 or 2.6 meter extendable ladders. We basically just take the top bracket off the existing ladder that you get supplied, and then we just put that straight on here. It's a really simple, drill some holes, put it on, you're done. So to put this one, there's advantages of this ladder. Um, the advantages are you can, <coughs> excuse me, the advantages are you don't have to put the other ladder in, so you don't have to worry about putting in the cover and makes things a little bit quicker. And also you get that extra room. Uh, the disadvantages with this ladder, uh, the rungs are hard on your feet. Uh, when you go out with just uh, thongs or uh, uh, bare feet, they are very hard and pretty much everyone dislikes them for that. But in this case, uh, even if the ground is uneven, you can still get down with such a high lift. Um, the other thing with this is on smooth concrete, these are deadly. They slip and move, and as they slip and move, they extend. And they just keep extending to the full uh, extension, so you have to be very mindful of that. It'd be nice if they had some sort of lock to hold the lock, the bottom one in, and then it wouldn't be an issue. Uh, but on the dirt, it's no dramas or on rough concrete. Um, again, the advantage of this one, don't have to put a dirty ladder in the tent or muck around with putting in covers and stuff. We just put it straight in the back. Um, we're going to jump up. But before we do that, we're going to go close the awning up. It's going to, it just makes life a little bit easier for the camera, um, for lighting and everything. It just gets a little bit dark. So we're going to close the awning and we'll jump up into the tent. All righty, we're just going to go down here and uh, pull this stay down. Then we walk back, undo the clip. So just uh, run that over, go over across all this. So we're just running through this side of the, uh, on the little arm again, we'll bring the cover up. This is hard, the car is very tall. Okay, so what we do here, we just do the quick roll up. It's not too technical. There are two ways of doing so. If you're just running around uh, town, you can put this in here. If you're doing a lot of corrugations, I put this in a sock and we'll show you that now. So we just quickly run this up. We do the middle one first, push it up, run the Velcro in just to hold it for, the, for you. Again, a, with this Velcro, then we'll go to the front, make sure that's turned in. And then we go back to the middle one. So what we do there is we push the canvas in and no force on this and put it back on. Same with this one. And that's done. Right, I was saying about the, uh, the little clip that holds it to the other side of the car. So when you're in corrugations, I put this in a sock and then we just jam that up in here. What happens is on corrugations is with all these 270 degree awnings, um, even awnings in general really, there's a lot of poles and a lot of canvas. And if you don't do it up tight, you'll get rub. So even if you've done say two or 300 Ks and just go for a quick break, open the zipper, just readjust all the things, make sure everything is settled in nicely. With the, uh, the clip, the reason you put it in the sock, so it just doesn't rub. It's just straightforward stuff. So what we'll do now, is we'll just close this off. And that is done. So we close this up now. It's just a little bit easier to take uh, the filming of the car. It's a bit dark underneath, even though we've got lights around everywhere. Um, Artie will show you the, uh, the extent we go to get some lights happening here. So we'll continue on and we'll go upstairs and have a look at the tent. Right, we're in the ladder. We're in. Again, 6'3". Uh, I can, uh, on my knees, and only just touch the top of the roof. Uh, we've got midget-proof mesh. We've got some lights in here, so it gets very dark in the tent. Excellent, excellent mesh. Um, pockets for storage, insulation at the top. Uh, again, it's 2.3 metres long, so it's quite large. 
It's got double canvas, so there's two lots of canvas. There's an inner and an outer canvas, so it's not too bad. Um, lights down the bottom. Um, some of the new ones now have got lights at the top and a switch, but overall a very good large tent. Two people are easily fit in here. It kind of looks deceiving, but there's heaps and heaps of room. So, alrighty, let's get going. Okay, before we continue on, we'll just talk a little bit about mounting. Now, this car, the 76 series, is done with uh, Rhino Rack load bars, the heavy duty ones, which are the Unistrut ones, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, the feet are around about 70 or 80 mil. Uh, the gap between the bottom of the bar and the tent is fairly minimal, so it sits quite nicely on the 76. Um, in the tent, uh, you get four bars, uh, four brackets like this, which uh, basically bolt to the side of the tent and then you can slide them in and out and the tent has rails so you can slide it left and right so north and south and east and west adjustment also at the front uh, if you run a th third bar so this one we have uh, the uh, rhino rack this is a light duty one it's white and we run an angle bracket again in stainless steel like this or if you have the uh, front runner or the alley cab load bar uh, you can just run them at the front and again you can run north and south so these move along with the tent anywhere where the bars are and in and out makes fitting a breeze to fit an awning or any awning to this tent um, pretty straightforward so the back bracket which is like that it's bolt straight up all the bolts and everything come with it and at the front so that's the back and at the front we have the front bracket because the front bracket is um, actually uh, made to suit the tent as it, the tent comes in at the front and also slopes down. So with this, it will give you a level playing field to run, whether it be an alley cab awning or a darchy awning or whatever, uh, they all will fit. As long as they're around about the 2.4 metre mark, they'll, they'll, do, they'll do you sweet. Um, again, the load bar options, I'll just grab my little load bars. Uh, you have the heavy duty uh, uh, alley cab ones on my right. And in the centre, we have the front runner, and you can see the height difference now with the Rhino bars. They're quite quite large, nearly double the distance. So, uh, when you're purchasing, you just make sure that the tent to roof, just try and get it low as you can. It makes it easier for the awnings, uh, just makes it easier for ladder access, the whole lot. It just works better. So, a little bit of time and homework done on which ones you're going to put on. All right, we'll continue on. We'll have a look at the rest of the car now. Right, the 76 series has got a Kmar uh, rear bar on it. Uh, dual carry, as you can see. It's got the twin jerry cans. Um, he's got the outback drawers on this one. Uh, everything is gas strutted, which is pretty cool. The drawers are pretty straightforward. Uh, he's got a Dunn Watson uh, drop down um, a fritz slide, which is gas operated again. That makes life a little bit easier. And uh, he runs a SeaTech. He runs a SeaTec uh, DC to DC charger. And on this side, he's just got the a table. These are readily available. This is quite a nice, nice piece of kit. If you can do this one-handed, somewhere for you to prepare and work on. We'll go have a look at his uh, battery setup and what's in the back seat now. Right, as you can see here, it's pretty, pretty stock looking. Very Adderley motors, these 4.5s. You can't make them beautiful. I think plenty of people have tried. SeaTech, three inch exhaust. Um, very reliable in this state without doing too much to get a lot of power out of them. Power costs you diesel and a little bit of reliability at the end. So um, to keep it very standardized like this is, is the right way to go in my opinion anyway. Have a little bit more power, but within reason. Um, this is a, as a tourer with the uh, four, inch, uh, four inch lift and the way he's done the interior and everything. It may not be up like how you do it. I once went to, um, a little quick story, I once went to a ramble with 160 troopies and no two troopies were the same. So um, everyone's taste is different. The seats are great. The tent works a treat with all the bedding up the top there. Um, it gives this a little bit more uh, room as a tourer. And you're not dragging around a, a, a big troopy. Uh, overall, it's a fantastic car. So uh, thank you again for Tyler. Please check out his Instagram page. 
Um, the links will be down the bottom. Again, subscribe, hit the notification button down there somewhere and uh, hit the like button, that helps us out a lot. And uh, please, if you want any uh, videos done, if I can, just put it in the comments and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Thanks very much. Cheers. Rightio, come on, let's close this up. I'll do the tent. And a few get the bonnet, that's the way. Oh, run over here. Yes, please. Get the old GQ out. I've done this a few times. Oh, what a day. And you call this a job.